Hello, my name is Nick Diego, the developer of Blocks and the Blocks Widgets add-on. In this video, I'm going to give you a brief overview of what the Widgets add-on does and how to use it. Before I start, I'm going to assume that you know what Blocks is. If not, head on over to BlocksWP.com. And also remember that Blocks is a premium plugin for the Genesis framework. If you're not running the Genesis framework, Blocks won't do anything for you, but I encourage you to check out the Genesis Framework, um, if you're not using it, at studiopress.com. So you can see here that we are running the Genesis Framework. Now the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to head on over to our plugins page, and you can see that I already have the widgets add-on activated. After you've activated your widgets add-on, you're probably going to want to head over to licenses and add-ons this is where you can enter in the add-on license key. This will enable automatic updates and support. For this demo we're going to ignore this this piece. So what I want to do is I want to provide an example of how to use the widgets add-on which will give you an idea of what this add-on can do. So first let's take a look at our, our website here. This is just the default Genesis theme as you can see. And in our primary sidebar, we have a couple of widgets, uh, the calendar widget and the search widget. Now at the bottom, there's nothing here. You can see it's just the end of the content and then the footer. So let's head back to the back end. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over to uh, the widget section. And you'll notice here that we now have a new widget area called Blocks Widgets. And this is going to be uh, where we're going to add all of our widgets. And for this demo I've already added three. Now the widgets that I've added um, are Genesis Featured Page Advanced widgets. Um, I'm cheating a little bit here because I actually developed this widget uh, myself and it's available in the WordPress repository. It's based off of the Genesis Featured Page widget that comes stock with all Genesis themes. The reason I chose this widget as an example is because it shows you how you also can use third-party widgets um, with the widgets add-on. So you can see here there's all sorts of additional options um, that don't come with the stock theme. Now what this widget does is it displays a featured page um, with some pictures and some content um, below it. So it allows you to get basically a, do a featured page block anywhere on your site. So for this example, we're going to add three featured page blocks to the bottom of our website, and this is where we want it to show up. To do this, we're going to head over to Blocks and create a global block. I've already done one for this example, so uh, here we go. Footer Featured Pages. Now you'll notice here that we've selected Widgets. Uh, this is a new content option which is added by the add-on. We're going to select the three featured pages um, that we want to add to the block. Now the order of these widgets is determined completely by the widgets page. Um, so within um, the block settings you only can select which ones you want to include. And you don't need to select them all, just the ones you want. But the order again is determined by the widgets page. For this example I'm just going to choose them all because I wanted all three uh, featured pages to be shown. Now that we've set our content we'll take a look at position. It's already set up here for Genesis After Content that corresponds to this spot. Uh, for location, we are only going to select single pages. We only want this to show up on other pages, not every page of your website. Visibility, we're going to keep uh, the same for visible to all. And now under style, uh, I've added uh, a bunch of uh, styling to these blocks. Um, you're going to need to add styling likely um, depending on what you want to do. So now that we've updated we're going to refresh and here we go. We have our three featured page sections. Again they're already pre-styled. Uh, this was via the styling that I've added. Um, now if you want to change the order uh, we're going to, again we're going to have to head to our widgets page and I've added some reminder text there. Head on over to our widgets page, and let's say that we want to have the uh, third one. Um, let's move this to the first position. 
Now when we head back over to our sample page and we refresh, you'll notice that voila, the third one is in the first position. Um, now, you know, let's say that we want to add a calendar widget. So we're going to add our calendar here and give it a title. This is just an example of using a different widget. We'll head back over to blocks in our global block, head over to the footer featured pages. Now you'll see that the calendar widget option shows up here. We refresh and nothing shows because it hasn't been selected. So we'll come back over here, we'll select the calendar widget and let's deselect everything else. Now we'll update. And there we go, now we have a calendar widget. Now let's combine both options. So we'll head back. So let's do the calendar widget in two other widgets. Um, notice that the width of these widgets is determined by the styling I set. So we'll select two more, refresh, and there we go, we have three widgets in our global block generated by the widgets add-on. So that about wraps it up. Gives you a brief idea of what the widget add-on can do. You can add any widget uh, to your website. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you'd like more information about Blocks, please head on over to BlocksWP.com and uh, there's also more information there about the widgets add-on. Thank you very much.